have the director's report, so Mr. Stanley. Well, just like uh, both divisions, in two days, our first nine weeks will be will be ending. Uh, so we're we're getting halfway through this semester. So either halfway through a course or a quarter of the way through a year-long course uh, is going to be coming up here in a couple days. Um, we currently are right around 37% virtual students with us. Um, with Covington being out this week, that puts us up almost at 60% of our students this week are virtual uh, with with them being out um, you know it's just like Covington this week we had a couple days that we were down because of a staff member with with our COVID uh, but uh, that person is back again and and everybody is uh, everybody's here and, and working as far as that goes um, you know, so we're taking it a day at a time, trying to take care of all the kids that are here working with us and working with the kids virtually that uh, are home with their, with their situations that are going on. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Anything else that's going on here at the center currently? Okay. It's pretty hard to do virtual automotive mechanics it's hard to do anything remotely you know there, there are very few things we do here that we don't need them to have their hands on it's it's a terrible situation but it's as you know it's a situation we're stuck in uh, yeah uh, they're gonna need a lot of other work besides what they're getting at home right now here in the future uh, for all those we have back, at least those that are seniors, they've at least had a year and a half with us. They're missing some stuff. Um, but a lot of the kids are truly want it. They're, they're coming in uh, to help take care of those things. Do you envision us having a large uh, group of uh, post-grad students, possibly? Possibly, depending on what we can fit in. You know, we can't go over our numbers. Uh, usually we might have one or two or three in the school. Um, one or two in a particular class maybe because of being able to cap most of our courses at 20. So if I have a decent junior group that's going to move up to seniors next year, there may be two slots that are open. So we could possibly take a couple postgrads, but other than that, no. Uh, so you know, we, we will help them out as we can, those that have earned it. Uh, but I don't see us being able to do a whole lot because of taking care of our next level that's coming up. But that all depends on the number of those that pass and move up. Any other questions for a director's report? Right, let me move on. You know, we're, we're getting to the point, uh, starting to talk budget and looking at next year's budgets for the school systems and such. And, and from what I understand, um, yeah, I was going to be bringing a budget, more budget information next month uh, to look at our budgets for the next year and, and sort of break it down and, and look at things of where we currently are and, and what it would be. Uh, but what I did with this is I, I gave you um, information for what our end of the year, our financial report was, um, the verification financial report. And there's a front and a back to what I gave you. On the, the one I had that was facing up is the financial report, and you can see that you know for the last two years, um, where we started, the total revenues, the total expenses, and then the end of the year balance that we had here at JRTC. Uh, so you can see what the 2019 was, and then what the 2020 was. Uh, so we ended up um, carrying over an extra 27,000. Um, from last year to this year uh, to, to add on to what we already had um, at the center. You know, we probably would have been right at it or maybe a little overspent if we'd have been in school March, April, and May. Uh, so that's not a whole lot of carryover and not a whole lot of extra that we didn't use in this, com in this uh, particular budget. Uh, when you look at the back of the page, for those that have been on the board before, I've done this the last couple years for you all, where I, I look at the, the end of the year balance, that's up there at the top, 
And then several years ago, we put money aside, and that's listed right there as far as the, um, the set aside for capital improvements and for future positions. Also, last year I started putting some money back in from our carryover back into the budget itself. And, and that's where we were. It's sort of almost like when we had ETC here, I put in a certain amount um, for there. So that shows the balance of 233, 202. And then there's some stuff in there that I don't really count as that because that was donations to certain programs we hadn't spent yet. Uh, so as I pull that out, it, it's leaving 227,852.68 uh, is what's unspent um, funds um, that JRTC does have. And then other funds that are available, we did get the $60,000 grant again this year, which we love it when that happens, and that has helped us tremendously over the last two years that we've had it, uh, being able to update programs with some really good equipment we normally wouldn't have been able to buy. You know, it's like with electrical, we bought the solar and the wind trainer a few years, uh, two years ago. Last year, put a lot of money into the automotive training type equipment, 40 some thousand dollars worth of equipment there. Um, and all new beds now in nurse aid to get up to the standard of what they're going to see in nursing homes. And we had to have at least two of them to do our nurse aid testing here anyways. We had to have two of the newer ones. So out of the four beds that we did have, all four of them are now the newer beds. You know, so it's been very beneficial. We also get Perkins funding um, from the two school divisions depending on the percentage of students here. And you can see that amount there. Uh, industry certification. We get a, a certain amount. Usually, we we're overspent on that. You know, we spend more than what they give us uh, to do with the testing that we do. And then our VPSA funds, which we already pulled out for our wireless internet, um, we still have that hundred and thirty thousand dollars too for VPSA funds um, that are available for us to use. Because every year, twenty six thousand um, dollars is given to us for VPSA funds. So we have some stored up because we didn't need to buy new computers at that time. But we're getting to the point now where the different rooms where I have new computers, we'd be looking at upgrading those here within, uh, within this next year. So a certain amount of that, because usually when you equip a room, you're wiping out over $26,000 uh, to equip a room with your new equipment. So um, it just gives you an idea of the funds that we started with, the funds we ended with, and what other funds are available besides that. Anybody have any questions on, on anything? Again, this is to give you information ahead of time, and then next month I'll come back with more budget information. Oh, you did mention wireless uh, <coughs> upgrades and things, and, and we had talked about that previously, nothing, no monsters in the corner there, everything seems to be Right now, they're all working. <clears throat> yeah, the kids are, their Chromebooks are logging on to it. Everything is is going well, so, okay. yeah, we're very happy with that part of it. Okay. Any other questions? We go on then to new business. We have staff supplements to discuss. Right. right. <clears throat> uh, at, at the last Allegheny meeting, you all um, gave a, a supplement to, to staff. Um, I know different school systems are calling it different things, um, but, uh, but you all had called it a supplement. So I was looking to do the same thing for the Jackson River Technical Center staff. And you know, following the same blueprint that, that you all did with the daily rate for five day, uh, daily rate for the staff, that would come to $15,229.89 for the staff at Jackson River Technical Center. So I was asking that you all would approve that so that we could do like you all and, and get a, a check out to the staff um, for Is that. that. Coming from the COVID money? It would come from it would come from this carryover that you see there that we have. Uh, we officially, because you know, last time we were hoping we would have heard by at the end of last month, I have not gotten any of that. Because you all get different pots, we don't get that. Um, but we did get that one amount, or we're supposed to get a certain amount, but we have not heard any news on it at the moment. But it, yeah, it would come out of, of what we have there in the 200 and some thousand dollars that, that we have. Refresh, uh, the supplement that Allegheny County gave was, well, how was it structured? Five, it was five days. 
Five days of what their daily rate would be, you know, for their salary. So, like I said, when you break it down, it's that ends up fifteen thousand two twenty nine eighty nine to take care of the whole staff. And we'll need to take action on that. Yes, please. So, do we have any discussion on the supplements? I make a motion to approve. A motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and second by Mr. Franson. Uh, voice vote, roll call. Uh, we'll, we'll, take, we'll take a voice vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Motion carries then. So thank you for that, Mr. Thank you. Mm, thank you.